the Dogon tribe and their Nordic alien gods from Sirius, as their legends say. But the, the very strange thing is that this African tribe was told many uh, thousands of years ago concerning the elliptical orbit that one star had around the other, Sirius A and Sirius B. How did they know that? And uh, let's remember that the Nordic, Nordic alien gods, the way they describe them, tall, beautiful beings with uh, light-colored hair and blue eyes, were also the way they described the Atlanteans. Now, how did the African tribe come to possess advanced astronomical knowledge about the Sirius star system? Throughout history, many civilizations were fascinated with Sirius, the dog star. This bright celestial object occupies an elevated status in various mythologies, but none paint a more intriguing picture than the Dogon tribe of West Africa. The rich culture of the Dogon people spans back more than 5,000 years, 3000 BC. And one of their ancient legends tells of a story of a race of otherworldly beings called the Nomo, N-O-M-M-O. And according to their legend, these advanced individuals visited the earth eons ago, descending from the skies in a vessel accompanied by fire and thunder. They were friendly in nature. They shared some of their wisdom with the ancestors of the Dogon. At this point, we should mention that the Dogon possessed no astronomical instruments with which to study the night sky. But despite this inconvenience, their legends mention that the Nomo came from a planet that orbits one of the two stars in the Sirius star system. So they came from a planet that orbits one of these two stars. This is what they claimed and told the Dogon. It would have been impossible for them to reach this conclusion just by studying the star with the naked eye. In fact, astronomers only discovered Sirius's smaller companion star a good 250 years after the telescope was invented. Every 50 years, the Dogon celebrate the passing of a Sirius cycle, a tradition they keep in honor of the Nomo. That's exactly the time it takes for Sirius B to complete an orbit around its larger, more well-known companion. Is that a coincidence? Now, the fact that a primitive African tribe possessed advanced knowledge about the universe is a mystery, but one that can be easily explained if we view their legends as mirrors of the real events that took place. So what do the Dogon say about the Nomo? They say their home planet orbits Sirius B and is a largely aquatic world. All legends describe them as amphibious creatures, very similar to our conception of mare folk, like mermaids and mermen. Their upper half of the body closely resembles the Nordic alien prototype of blue eyes, blonde haired, tall humanoids, they landed in a large spaceship, the Dogon called Pelutolo, or Star of the Tenth Moon. And this event is one of great importance for the Dogon, their first contact. At the same time, the Nomo ship was spiraling towards Earth. A new star appeared in the night sky, possibly a mothership from Sirius. The tribe describes this star as having a swirling circle of reddish rays around it, and also say that it was stationary relative to the other stars in the night sky. The Dogon revered the Nomo and regarded them as civilizing gods. They are commonly referred to as the masters of the waters, the watchers or the saviors, as they call them. When shown photos of the most encountered alien species, Dogon shamans identified them with the Nordic alien type, claiming that their tribe had met blue-eyed white humanoids long before meeting white men. As unbelievable as this story sounds, it's paralleled by many other worldwide that they all share one common aspect, advanced alien beings visiting our planet, offering their aid and knowledge and being revered as gods. It would appear that this rash of visitations concerned occurred over uh, around 5,000 years ago, possibly following a great flood or another catastrophe. The white-skinned gods apparently visited the entire planet, as legends ranging from Australia to the Americas describe similar beings teaching mankind their ways. And this is by Locklip on Humans Be Free. And now I just want to comment also, also in Asia, we had 
2400 BC, uh, the same time period, extraterrestrials from the skies visiting China, Korea, and Japan. And you know, these Asians had very, very well kept records of what was happening on a daily basis. So please give your, leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.